little Monday reading. This is a not as much of a reading as it is a discussion. So this is uh, a poll that was done. Where was this done? So it was YouGov. on YouGov. Yeah, that sounds official. They asked a, sure. They asked a bunch of people questions. It's thirty-four different animals, including humans, and you pit them against each other to see which Americans think is the mightiest. Well, okay, so that was that was one of one part of it. But I thought the most interesting part was it was man versus beast. Yeah. So, so if you keep scrolling down, that was it's the second part of the what, survey. Yeah. Yeah. What I mean, animals fighting each other, I think, has been done. I guess all this has been done, but it's fun to see the actual st- statistics. So you're right. Mm-hmm. Let's go through the quickly the animals versus the animals. They basically came out that the elephant and the rhinoceros were the top dogs. Mm-hmm. What I don't understand about this. So, um, what was the exact science behind is this, it? Is a single hornet on there? No, no but they what? didn't. They didn't take into account that animals could be allergic to bees, and so a sting from a mighty hornet would fell even the. The largest bull I, elephant. I like this line from them. Of course, geography and morality get in the way of ever knowing for sure. Thanks. That, that must have been the Michael morality? Vick clause there. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Morality is subjective, okay? Yeah. So what you might think is brutal, <laughs> but, I might think is fucking sweet. But a new YouGov study provides the next best thing. The views of the U.S. public. Our survey puts 34 different animals, including humans, against one another to see which American... Uh, think is the mightiest we showed people seven random pairings of animals from the list and asked them which of the two they thought would win in a fight animals are ranked by their win percentage that is how often americans thought that animal would win in a head-to-head matchup when it was one of the two animals shown the results showed that the elephant wears the crown in the animal kingdom but only uh, slightly, elephants had a win rate of 74%, just fractions of a percent ahead of their single horn cousins, the rhinoceros. rhinoceros. Mm-hmm. I don't like how they did this, though. Rhinoceri. Because it has, like, the goose is 14%, but that means, like, the goose going up against... I want to know how many people thought a goose could beat an elephant. Is there one? Uh, no, but there are probably some that thought that the goose could beat like, an ostrich, a walrus, a chimpanzee. If it was on land, maybe yeah. I would give the, or in the air. If the, if it was in midair, like falling out, if you threw a walrus out yeah. of an airplane and then threw a goose out of an airplane, I think the goose would just survive by not hitting the ground. Yeah, actually, the goose should be number one. I fucking hate goose. I, I actually I saw Operation Dumbo drop. An elephant can survive that too. But goose, gooses, gooseies, geese. Goosers. Geeses. There's a new fucking family of gooses guy. by my house, and I want to punt them. Family of guy. Is that bad to say? Can Geese you guy? say that? No, because geese are, I think, universally hated. Yeah, I, think there's I would like to kick them in the head. Yeah. yeah. Right now is the season. Yeah. Once I want to kick them all in the head. Once people get out on the golf course and start having to interact with geese on a regular right. basis, then the, uh, the sentiment of humans against geese turns no. swiftly towards kill them right. all. You missed the window. October 1st through April 15th. The, the, there was a goose. What does that mean? Or a geese. That's goose hunting season. That's goose hunting season. Oh. That's That like did the hiss towards Stella one time, and I almost went full punt. I would do that. Yeah. If a goose went after my dog, I'd... I'd punt the goose. Geese are underrated dicks. They're I'd like they're the right biggest the assholes of the animal kingdom. Squash his neck. All right, so that's the the poll. Of the, th- this is the more interesting poll than the man versus beast, and this is where the discussion will start. Uh, what if an unarmed human was one of our respondents themselves? We Does that f- mean like not with a weapon or no arms? That makes a difference mm. to me. An unarmed. I'm gonna go no weapons. Okay. Has the arms. We took a further selection of animals and asked Americans if they thought they could triumph in a battle against them without weaponry. There it is. The results show that Americans aren't confident in their abilities. Most Americans are convinced they could beat a rat, a house cat. 69% only think they could beat a house cat? Yeah. Um, we, that's You know what? That's a problem with American pride. I like th- we need we need some fucking propaganda machine being like, hey, you see that cat in the bodega? You could beat it up. No, you are strong enough, bro. Well, I also think that it. it some people probably think allergies. Some people get in a room with a cat that can't breathe. That's true. Um, a baby, like for me. example, don't let it. Don't let your baby in the same room as a cat. Steal its breath. Yeah. So, but it also breaks it down by by gender. Yeah, so all right, so here's here, so here's 60, where we're gonna go. We're only sixty four percent of women think that they could beat up a house cat. Yeah. Seventy four percent of dudes think that they can So pull let's off. let's go from the bottom up and we're gonna we'll discuss it and anyone object, uh please please say it out loud. All right, so rat is the bottom. Sixty eight percent of women think they can beat a rat, seventy six percent of men. That's crazy. That should be a hundred a hundred. Uh 
Um, dude, yeah. you can beat a you can fucking kill a rat. I've I've tried to kill a rat before and failed. No, but if the rat was coming at you and in, they in were an fighting, octagon, right? Yeah, the only, you would kill the rat. The only way that a rat could kill me is if it was like in that movie where they put it underneath a pot and then put a flamethrower on the pot and the rat burrowed into me. Yeah, that's, that's such a ugh. yeah. But yeah. I I think yeah, like one on one in an octagon, I would defeat a rat easily. Yes, house cat. Kill it. Yeah. I might just do that even, for fun. That's not even... By the way, that's not like Tony Scheffler's cat. That's not Scout. Scout's not a house cat. It's a barn cat. That's a barn cat. Yeah, this is a house cat. A barn cat. cat's a different animal. A house cat means that that cat's drinking milk. That cat's sleeping in beds. That cat's sleeping in the windowsill. That cat is fucking scratching on the, on the sofa. Mm -hmm. Like, that cat is a fucking total prima donna. So, I don't like house... I don't know. Some house cats are demons. I don't like house cats, though, because... They act like they're the shit. They act like they're super tough and that they can like they're the they're the divas of the house. They think mm -hmm. that they control everything. But the bottom line is they rely on humans for everything. Correct. Like, I am the alpha around a cat. If I want to kill the cat, I just I just put the tuna fish away. Yeah. And then guess what? You're gonna die eventually. No, but they fuck they would live for a while. But yes. Yeah. They cats can go forever. They can. They they never die. Do you see that video? There was like a fire in Chicago and the cat jumped out of like it was like, it was probably like twelve stories mm -hmm. and just bounced and kept on running. Yeah, cat, it was cat, crazy. Listen, don't get me wrong. I like a select amount of cats, but it's preposterous to think that you couldn't defeat one. Even though I did see there was a video today of a cat that chased off a coyote. Yeah, and that's fuck. another case of a cat not knowing the limitations. That's just a yeah. That's boldness. Yeah. Um. All right. R.I.P. Bernie. Goose, fifty-one percent uh, women, seventy-one percent men think they could beat up a goose. I don't. Is there something I'm missing with, with goose, geese? Uh, they're just aggressive. They're just dicks. Yeah, but if I choose to be just as aggressive, I think I would beat it every time. Yeah, all you have to do, you just make yourself look big. And geese are dumb as shit. They'll be like, oh my, that's a really big bird that's walking towards me. I better submit to it. And then you just kill it. You know what I would do? I'd grab the goose by the fucking head, and I'd Bo Jackson bat over my knee. Right on its neck. Just snap its neck. Snap its neck. I like that. And spit on it. I actually think it would be very satisfying to like to just punch a goose in the throat. Yes, absolutely. And they have teeth too. So if you yeah, punch it on their tongue. Yeah. If you punch it, imagine punching a goose right in its mouth, and its teeth fly out. It's like beak stays there, yeah. but you like knock its mouth. That would be out. sick. I'd love to kill a goose. Mm -hmm. Love, love. Uh, we're gonna skip dog. Yep. All right. Uh, both medium and large size. Uh, that's just a fucked up question. To don't ask. ask don't like, even. Why would put you that ask that? That's so fucked up. Give me a house cat. You, I'll fucking strangle a house why cat. Why would I ever want to yeah. do anything to a dog besides pet it? Boop lovingly. it. Yeah. Oh, maybe boop it to death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, smother it to death with kisses. Boop it to death over sixteen years. I'm gonna love you love. to death. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, eagle. This is where it gets tricky. Thirty-eight percent men, twenty-three percent women. I think I could take an eagle. <laughs> Mm. I give an eagle a fair shot because they. By the way, thirty-eight percent is that's too low. It's more people should think that they could beat an eagle. The only way that an eagle is able to beat you is if it comes down and gets a good shot on your eyes right away. What if it just if it blinds it you? It does have like sick ass talons, so I guess it could. It could just like, I guess it could just decapitate you. It's got a sharp beak. No, an eagle can't decapitate you. Now the unarmed part makes it tough. Like, could I take off my shoe and throw it at the eagle? Is you get the eagle to the ground, you win. Yeah, because now it's playing on your level. Right. Yeah, and it's it's your own environment. I think that you can't throw a shoe. You just basically have to try to grab it before it grabs you. So you, the move would be to jump up in the air and to grab it like you're mossing nature. And you just grab it and then you slam it on the Smother ground. Smother it. And then all of a sudden it's like, I'm going to have to exert all my energy trying to take off now. While it's trying to do that, just boom, snap. Stamp him on his head. If I sat on an eagle, would I kill it? Yeah. Okay, so then I think I'd beat For an sure. eagle. Yeah. So yeah, I just got to get to the ground, then I just fucking power Gotta get the upper head. Yep. Okay. Uh, king Cobra, 23% men, 8% women. I think I could beat a King Cobra. Absolutely, dude. It's on the ground. It's like, stomp it. Yeah. What? The grip strength, once it gets you circled up. That's no, no, you're thinking of an anaconda. You're thinking of a Same thing. thing. J-Lo's butt. Yeah. Bonk. No, all snakes. Not all snakes. Mm -hmm. I could beat a king cobra. I think I could too. Cause what if one around your neck? It doesn't no, wrap it you up. You, Hank, it bites you, and then the, the venom gets you. But here's what I would do. I would simply let it bite me, and then after it was like latched on, then you just strangle it. 
Right. It's got the hope it doesn't kill you. It's got the but world's it's actually, largest neck. And then after it's dead, then I go to the hospital. I'm like, hey, cobra fight. Well, and also this is technically like if you if you beat if you kill the cobra first, but you die after, yeah, you, you still win. win. That's what I'm saying. Right. right. So yeah, that it should be 100. percent It's a hundred percent win. A hundred percent win rate. It's yeah. not a hundred percent survive, but no. it's a hundred percent win. But if you don't die first, right, then you're good. Um, then you're the guy that killed the king cobra. Yes, chimpanzee. Uh, zero, zero percent. You remember so, that chimp that, yeah, no, that ripped gonna, off the hands yeah, and the face? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, but that's different though. A chimpanzee in the wild versus a chimpanzee that like, it, it, you know, like a crazy suburban person puts into clothes and like diapers and stuff. That chimpanzee has just been emasculated and wants to rip everyone's face off. A wild chimpanzee. I think I could take it. You think a wild ch- chimpanzee would actually be more friendly? I'd be like, like hey, come talk to me. They'd swing over to yeah. you and like, give you a banana. Yeah, and then I'd just be like, out. oh, sh- bash. I bash your skull. I, I think there's 0% chance I could beat a chimpanzee. I'd say chimpanzee were, is where I'm starting to get 50-50. Because they're... How big is a chimp? Give us a chimp. I, I wish we had, a, if I'm I twice, wish we had an expert or something. If I'm twice the size of a chimpanzee, I think I could animals. take it. <laughs> But I, I think the smartest chimpanzee in the world... The length is 2.3 to 2.7 feet. The mass is 75 to 130 pounds. Okay, so I, Dude, I outweigh it by a significant two amount. Point, wait, how many? How far? 2.3 to 2.7 feet. No, they, I would kill this thing. I also think that you could trick a chimpanzee. They're smart enough to Give be it a able cigarette. to be tricked. Yeah. yeah. Give it a, all the cigarettes it wants until five and a half, 20 ties. years later yeah. it gets lung cancer. Right. Seems like there's a bunch of ranges, Owned. yeah. No, no one taller than like five or six feet. I would say. Hank, you got any thoughts on chimps? I'll take one down. So wait, you would, you would get, you'd get. I hate snakes. I've always hated snakes. Okay, you're like Indiana Jones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've just been terrified of snakes ever since uh, Harry Potter too. <laughs> yeah, Neville Longbottom with the sword. Do you too, Jake? No, you're... I was talking about the scene. But is that? Are you afraid of snakes? No, I read the, I read the books, Jake. I didn't. I didn't Jake, are you? Um, are you terrified? I've just never thought. Uh, kind of crazy, yeah. They don't even concern you, though. But <laughs> Hank is deathly afraid of them. Interesting. No, I never said that. This is our way, PFT and I, our way of reestablishing ourselves as alphas of this podcast. Because you guys should be. would not be able to take any of these animals. No, Jake. Where we can confidently, we PFT's smash, no. smash an eagle technique is foolproof. Jake, you do not get to do that. You do not get to tell me who is the alpha, alpha knows when you can see. I know what you're doing right now, Jake. I will not accept your concession um 16 17 percent of people men said they could beat a ca- kangaroo and 11 percent said uh or women said they could beat a kangaroo I, I think i could take a kangaroo i've seen that video where where deli steps up because his dog is being attacked the kangaroo was trying to defeat the dog and the guy goes and just he squares up punches him in the jaw yeah yeah easy a kangaroo is like also it's like an old-timey fighter like i could beat up a boxer from like 1850 right Kangaroos, they don't I know. I just move laterally. They don't know how to compete against us modern fighters with their new techniques and mixed martial arts. Yeah, they could beat up like a, the old, like the uh, the yes. logo for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Yes. A kangaroo could beat that guy up because that's what it's trained what was for. The, what was the old game? The fucking. Where Punch the, out? Yeah. No, the the two things in the middle. Rock and sop. Rock, rock and, and sop and, and robots. Uh, robots. Robots. Yes, yes. yes. That's, that's what exactly a kangaroo what a kangaroo does. Kangaroo does. We have a life size version of Dave and Buster's. Whoa! Oh my God, we got to go. Buster. Holy shit! I would simply jujitsu the kangaroo to death. Yeah, I would leg sweep it. Then I would uh, use a little Steven Seagal karate, and I would put it to sleep, and then I'd kill it. Actually, you know what I would do? That kangaroos looks awesome, are so by the way. big. They're yeah, but give me a size check. Not all of them. You're, size check you're, it. You're thinking of that swole kangaroo that's very clear. Bob Baffert's you're kangaroo. You're thinking that's about the movie. Up. Of what is it called? The, I went to Aus- when I was like fifteen. Jerry O'Connell, yeah, great film. When I was fifteen, I went to visit my brother in Australia who was studying abroad, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna pet a kangaroo. They're everywhere. <laughs> we saw them. We're in the hotel. They're literally in the parking You're lot." You're fifteen, and I'm like, "All right, I'm gonna pet one. Like, whatever. They're literally everywhere, like squirrels." And once you see them in person, you realize how fucking big they are, and then all they have to do is just jump up and kick you in the chest, and you're dead. It sounds not I that different from me. your fantasy of catching a fish with your bare hands. Yeah. When once you actually confront the wildlife, you'll chicken out again. Hank, if a kangaroo... If I had if to ca- if Hank, I had to pet it, I would have. Let me ask you a question. If a kangaroo went to kick you in the chest, and you grabbed his leg, what does he do then? His legs are so powerful. What does he do then he if you grab his you. leg? He kicks out of it. 
You know what I would do? Yeah, I would jump in his fucking pouch and yeah. then punch, uppercut him from underneath. It, from inside of him. Yeah. Just like be sitting in his pouch, punching his abs, <laughs> body shot him to death. Or what you do, you just run around behind him real quick, grab his tail, and then you start swinging him in a circle by his tail. Yeah, just And then he gets him. dizzy. And like then you, a, like th the discus. Do you think that kangaroos <laughs> would come back like a boomerang? Like if you yeah. threw it, it would go like yes. 20 feet and turn around in the yes, air? Absolutely. Probably. A large male can be six foot seven and weigh up to 200 pounds. Well, I could take a kangaroo. Mm. I weigh more. And height, yeah, he's a little bit taller. But he wouldn't stand up straight. But he's too skinny. I still feel like that. I, 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 I got the weight. Yeah. And yeah. I probably got the reach. What are the... Their arms aren't... They don't have good wingspans. No, they're like T-Rexes. Right. Of. So I got reach and weight. Easy. All right, next up is a wolf. I think that's just too adjacent to it's a dog. very similar to a dog. But, but I, I think I could take it. I don't know. They, they cut to black in the last scene of The Gray not, with Liam Neeson. We're going to beat everyone. So I don't know. Animals. A wolf. I think I could beat a wolf. Here's the technique. You want to know the technique? Yeah. You just you wrap your arm. You take off your shirt because you're allowed to have clothes on, right? Yeah. You take off your shirt. You wrap your shirt around your arm. Then you hold your arm out in front of the wolf. It bites onto your arm. It latches on. Then you just kick it in the balls. No, you just grab its you grab its uh, windpipe and snap it. Just with your fingers. Yep. Just like that. Done. Do you think that wolves are too trusting? Where you could like lure a wolf in and like you would a dog and like let it smell the back of your hand. Remember uh, what was the what was the book Iron Wo No Iron Will No Wow White, White Fang, Fang. Yeah. White Fang. You could that also, was a great book and movie. You could also, with a with a wolf, grab it by the scruff of its neck, and then it doesn't get like basically hypnotized at the yep, point. Yep, that's true. It thinks that you're its mom. Who wrote White Fang? Was it Gary Paulson? Jack London, I think. Jack London. I was a big Gary Paulson guy. The Hatchet. Jack London, yeah. Jack London. Call uh, of the Wild, too, right? Uh, all right. So, the next up is. I mean, this is. People are going to now say that this is ridiculous. Crocodile. Is ten percent think they could beat a crocodile male, eight percent women. I actually think I'd have more trouble with the cobra than I would a co crocodile. Right. It's it's at foot level, so it's perfect kicking. Yeah, I would just sprint directly at the crocodile and kick it. I would just run face. around it to its back and then just fucking get him from behind. He can't move laterally. Right. Like I, if you're telling me I'm swimming. Mm -hmm. Yes, a crocodile would beat me in, in oh, the pool Easily, drag okay. you under the, the death roll But we're just out on the fucking lawn yep. I'm just like, hey crocodile I just do a big roundabout run He slowly tries to move I hop on its back And then again, windpipe trick, done Also, crocodiles are stupid as shit They're basically dinosaurs mm -hmm. They've got a tiny little brain I think it's actually easier than all this You see a crocodile, you run directly at it you simply jump over its head and land with a double leg foot smash right on its back. Mm -hmm. They don't, a crocodile can't like raise up on its hind legs. You just jump over its mouth, smash its neck, smash its back, just like with your feet. You just land on them like a surfboard. Yeah. It's very easy to defeat a crocodile. Yes. Happy, easy, easy, easy. Happy Gilmore took down an alligator to get his ball. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Exactly. All right. Last three are grizzly bear. I'll give a grizzly bear. I'll say the grizzly bear will win. Yeah, easily. Lion would win. Elephant, I have a, I have some questions. Well, so it's interesting. Let's not skip over the lion <laughs> just you, yet. because No, a lion would beat you up. No, because this one's interesting. This is the only one where a higher percentage of women than yeah. men said that they could defeat the animal. Every other one, I think women are, are more realistic. Right. You can probably like guess by listening to us talk about how we defeat these animals. But 8% of women think that they could beat a lion, which, by the 7%. way, I want to I want to meet... The eight percent of women yes. that think they could take down a lion. I don't know why that is. It because like the female lions are the hunters. No, I think it really is just uh, dudes filling out this survey. Most dudes are doing it like we're doing it, and they're like, "Well, I got to give one animal a win." And they all went to lion. <laughs> yeah, right. So it really should be nine percent male, eight percent female. Or it probably is just based on the most recent animated movie that they've watched featuring any of these animals. Right. Right. Um, all right. So elephant. If you, is elephant, like, if an elephant falls down, can it get back up? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, they sleep. You sure? They yes. sleep what about on, on their, on their, their sides? What about on their back? Like, what if I turtle an elephant? You couldn't push one over. I'm not asking to push one over. I'm saying, what if I turtle an elephant? Just ask, answer that question first. You could not turtle an elephant. How would, answer the question of how first. Okay. I'd grab his fucking tail and I'd pull on it. That would hurt. It'd, It'd be annoying. It'd probably kick. <laughs> 
I think that um, <laughs> it would kick you like thirty feet. No, no. It, it's, I think elephants are another case of an animal being so smart that you can trick it. Yeah. So you could probably get an elephant really dizzy just by running in circles around it, or you could make it fall in love with you. Probably. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna say elephant fifty fifty shot. I think that's that's fair. <laughs> it might be a bit ambitious. Um, what if you just went up and just took a bite out of the elephant? If you started just eating it? Yeah. I think the best technique would actually be to pretend that you're a baby elephant and just, like, go try to get some milk. And yeah. elephants are so nice. I've actually seen videos of elephants raising other animals. They might try to raise you, and then, boom, it's Oedipus effect. You can kill it super easy later. Now, this might be, like, cartoon brain. This might be cartoon brain. What if you tied the elephant's uh, snout? What do you call it? Trunk? Trunk. In a bow. Yeah, or just, yeah, not. Would he just you, blow up? You knotted it up? Yeah, if he couldn't breathe. What about his mouth? I think eventually it, gets, yeah, it, it, it might have that's asthma. True. I forgot about the mouth. It might have asthma. <laughs> um, could you feed it a rock? Could you paint a rock to make it look, what do elephants eat? Do they eat anything that looks like rocks? Because mm. this what is my main strategy eat? here. What do elephants Water. eat? Water. Roots, grasses, fruit, and bark. They're vegetarians? They can eat up to 300 pounds of food in a day. Holy shit. What if I just wheeled out an old-timey uh, piano and then the elephant died of heartbreak because he's like, oh, that was my mother. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. <laughs> that's that's uh, that's just my 50-50 shot. Just ivory? Yeah. Just display ivory for it? Yes. Like, hey, check this out, elephant. Uh, I think, honestly, your best technique, I would probably go for something with the trunk as well. Yeah. And if that didn't work, just submit yeah. and hope that the elephant didn't kill me. <laughs> Have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Well, I would like to hear what. Uh, we'll, maybe we'll put up a couple polls tomorrow. Get a little discussion going. Ooh, big goal for the Panthers. What about the gorilla? Oh, the gorilla would kill us, dude. The gorilla is the the mightiest. It's got thumbs too. And it's yeah, no, it's the strong. gorilla would fuck you up. It didn't kill that kid. <sighs> Why you gotta bring that up? Our too sweet soon, dude. Just saying it's way to end the show. Too soon.